What's going on guys, it's Floodman02 here, and uh, today I'm bringing you yet again a Crisis 2 multiplayer demo. And in this demo, I'm going to be using the semi-automatic shotguns just to see how they use. I've probably uh, played, uh, this is maybe my second game using this weapon, uh, just to see if the rumors that it was uh, overpowered was true. And I do apologize for what I said in my uh, pixel enemy submission. It is not overpowered. It's actually kind of uh, wonky. The animation sometimes uh, goes all effed in the A, if you know what I'm saying. But uh, other than that, it's pretty good, like right there. If you guys saw that, it, I don't know. It sometimes just happens when you reload or or you uh, switch your weapons. The, the shotgun's animation just, like, cuts in half. But uh, before I get into this gameplay, I really wanted to uh, address something that uh, is really concerning as a gamer. Now, I've been gaming for 17 years now. And, uh, you know, I can say when I play a game that's fun, I'm going to play the game no matter no matter what. I'm not going to bitch about it. Being on uh, a different platform, if I like the game enough, I will fucking buy that platform. Uh, if there's more Ratchet and Clanks, I'd probably buy PS3. If they came out with Dark Cloud, if they came out with the Dark Cloud 3, I would definitely buy PS3. But uh, you know, right now they don't have any games besides maybe Killzone that I might enjoy. And uh, mind you, I am a poor motherfucker, so uh, there'd be there'd be some saving involved. So currently, what I game is a uh, 360. And I game my PC every now and then. I've been playing uh, Diablo for a good eight years now. And uh, that's probably my favorite PC game. I'm not really a hardcore uh, like uh, tech guy sort of PC uh, uh, PC knowledge. Like I don't I don't know what how to build a computer and that sort of stuff. But uh, I definitely don't have anything against a game going multi-platform. And to be quite honest, I don't see how these people think it's a bad thing besides their butt hurt about a game expanding, which is a fucking amazing thing for a game to expand, uh, to go multi-platform. I'm going to tell you why right now, using a simple analogy. Now, say you're a farmer, and uh, you're selling apples. You know, you got a good, you got a good uh, bunch of consumers that buy your apples, but say so there's other people that want bananas and oranges, and you, you're not, you can't make, fit their needs. Now, you start selling these bananas and oranges and apples, and what happens? You're making more money, you're making more customers, and uh, ultimately, what this leads to, uh, as a game going multi-platformer, it leads to uh, more money for the developers. And this isn't, this isn't fucking new, you guys should not have to be taught this, unless you're actually uh, retarded. So, when uh, developers are making more money, this can lead to future DLCs, uh, future crisis games, uh... Patches coming out quicker, and uh, all that fun shit that is revolved around video games. So uh, you guys can uh, really, I don't know if it's, <laughs> I've done my fair bit of trolling, and uh, when people troll about this shit, uh, I'm either thinking that they are trolls, or they're uh, kids that are actually upset about uh, something like this. Now... Now that that's all the way, that's all I really wanted to say, because that really just fucking confuses me when people can, you know, claim they're gamers, claim they, uh, they enjoy games, yet they're, they're fanboys of a single console. You know, a, a good game is a good game, plain and simple. I'm gonna fucking, like I said, if, <laughs> if I want a game, I'm gonna buy that fucking platform. So, uh, now that that's all the way, I kinda wanted to get into this gameplay and, uh, talk about what I'm using. Like I said, I'm using the semi-automatic shotgun. You guys have probably been watching uh, this gameplay. Hopefully, I'm wa uh, I'm hoping you're fucking watching it. And uh, you're seeing, you know, it's not a bad gun. You you, you can rush with it. You kind of got to uh, um, align your play style differently. Which uh, I mean, it's kind of good. Like what what I've found so far is uh, the end. Of, when whenever you kill somebody, they drop that dog tag. And if you kill somebody from a long range, you're not gonna get their dog tag all the time. Which is good, because you don't want people fucking camping in corners and shit. So that's good, they force people to actually move. But uh, the shotgun really uh, plays into that, because you're always close. You're always, uh, for the majority of the time, as long as you don't get killed, you're going to be picking up those dog tags, getting your kill streaks, getting more kills, getting the higher KD, helping your team win, and that's fucking fantastic. So I'm really enjoying the shotgun uh, so far. And uh, I also wanted to talk about what I'm using right now. It's a pretty fun little setup, and it would be a uh, 
uh, I've been messing around with the uh, proximity alarm for in my armor perk. And pretty much what that does, that also plays very strongly into the shotgun. And uh, that, uh, that gives off a little boop, boop, it's, it, and then uh, it beeps louder and louder. It's kind of like a metal detector uh, when enemies get closer and closer. So it lets me know where people are going to be, and so they can't uh, sneak up on me as easily. And uh, I believe for my stealth, I'm using the uh, default one, which is... Uh, oh no, I believe I am using a cloak tracer which uh, lets me know when enemies go into cloak while they're uh, near nearby. And then for my weapons, it is... Uh, what is it called? I believe it is the uh, increased accuracy while looking down the iron sights. And you know, I'm really enjoying it. All of my perks so far are kind of playing into the shotgun. And it's working. I'm loving it. Having fun with it. And, uh, you know, that's, I've said it before, that's why I play games, to have fun. And while I'm talking about uh, designing your classes around certain perks and all that, uh, I was looking through the perks menu, the, the ones that are available in the DL... Uh, not the DLC, the ones that are available in the demo, and the ones that are available in the full game, and I'm not sure if it shows all of them, but from what I've seen, there is no uh, bullshit perks like stopping power or magnum ammo or uh, full metal jackets or uh, hollow points anything like that. There's no fucking, uh, even more redonkulous bullshit shenanigans like danger close or uh, explosive upgrades. No, this game's uh, sticking to the point, sticking to the fucking, uh, the guns, the actual guns, not the fucking noob cannons and uh, the increasing the damage so you fucking just waste your perk and you're forced to waste your perk no matter what. Uh, from what I've seen, it's, uh, you got your weapons and they have things like uh, quicker reload. Uh, the one I'm using right now is aiming down your sights faster, or better accuracy while aiming down your sights. And uh, you know, there's n there's none of that shit that you'll have to worry about. I've actually uh, looking through the w the weapons menu. Uh, I don't know what all the weapons are to be quite honest with you because they look uh, kind of they're all blacked out and shit. But from what I've seen, there's like one RPG, and it uh, it looks like it's primarily for anti-air, and I hope that is what it's for. I hope it's just vehicle lock-on only, so you can take out those uh, flying rate machines that are the Ceph ships. I believe that's what they're called. I keep wanting to say Geth ships. But that's a totally different game. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, so the the game's coming to an end. I just want to throw out that last little timbit of information for those that are uh, looking to get this game. And, uh... That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.